Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today. What I'm going to be bringing you is my thoughts on Fika Kelher joining Southern Hill Moors on a season long loan. Now if you do go on to enjoy today's video, a like as always will be massively appreciated. If you could channel it 60 likes on today's video, that'd be absolutely class. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are down the road to 6,000 subscribers. So make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on. Today, this morning, we hit 5,900. We've gained 100 subscribers in the last 20 days. So thank you so much to everybody who has subscribed. If you haven't already, though, make sure to press that big red subscribe button. It's free to do so and it does massively help out. Get your thoughts in as well down in the comment section down below. It's certainly an interesting one, but I guess this was a departure that we kind of all expected. This was obviously announced yesterday at 5 o'clock, but I've already done a video yesterday today i also presume another departure might get announced today at five o'clock so if that does happen my thoughts on that will be out tomorrow at four o'clock feel free to check out the channel membership scheme as well if you are in a position to do so shout out to our current tier two channel member joe 006 and our current tier three channel member b davies 211 if you are interested in locking loads of different exclusive perks then feel free to check that out if you are in a position to do so but make sure you drop a like on today's video subscribe if you are new as well and let's get into it so bradford city tweeted yesterday at 5 p.m saying breaking news Fika Kelleher's today completed a season-long loan move to the Vanarama National League side at Sully Hill Moors. All the best in West Midlands, Kells. Now, the article does then read, Kelleher heads out on loan. Fika Kelleher has today completed a season-long loan move to Vanarama National League side Sully Hill Moors. The defender signed for the Bantams on a two-year deal last summer and will now spend the duration of the 22-23 campaign at Damson Park. Kelleher has made 11 appearances in City Colours today, including three outings as a substitute. We'll get into some of his in-depth stats later on in today's video. Bradford TTAFC would like to wish Fika the very best throughout his spell in the West Midlands. Now, there's no noticeable mention in this article about a recall clause in January. I presume we would have one, but with him being probably third choice right centre back, he's probably fifth maybe even sixth choice centre-back, he was never really going to play. Now, when he has actually played, I think he's done all right. He was obviously brought in last season under Derek Adams, and he was brought in as a backup. No one had really heard of him, and when he did play, I thought he did okay. The only real proper error I can remember him making was away at Carlisle when he got absolutely skinned by Amari Patrick but apart from that I think every time he has played he's done quite well he's obviously very tall so he wins quite a lot in the air for his size as well he's not exactly slow I mean I don't think he's quick for a centre half but I don't think he's slow whatsoever he's all right on the ball as well now I don't know how Sully Hill will play and obviously their absolutely humongous striker Kyle Hudlin is today completed a move to Huddersfield Town so I doubt they're going to be playing long ball but if they do look to play it on the floor then Keller I think at that level he's more than competent to be able to do that now obviously with him going to Sully Hill Moors, they tweeted yesterday at 5 o'clock. They tweeted a little teaser video saying we're getting the band back together. Moors are delighted to announce the return of defender Fika Kelleher on a season-long loan from Bradford City. Their article does then read Kelleher back at Moors. Sully Hill Moors are delighted to announce the return of defender Fika Kelleher on a season-long loan from Bradford City. The 26-year-old previously spent a season on loan at the Moors in the 17-18 campaign, playing a key role in the club's dramatic turnaround in fortunes and subsequent survival from relegation. The Irishman made 43 appearances and scored two goals during his last spell at the Moors over four years ago. Back then, he was an Oxford United player. Kelleher has since played for Macclesfield Town and Wrexham before signing a two-year deal with the Bantams last summer. The former Celtic youngster appeared 11 times for the League 2 outfit throughout the 21-22 season and his nearing 200 career appearances. On the re-signing at Sully Hill Moors, Kelleher said, I'm delighted to be back. He's changed a lot since I was last year, obviously for the better. The club is really starting to thrive and I'm hoping to make some more good memories. Now, I think the last time he was actually at Sully Hill Moors, they were a part-time team. Now, obviously, they are full-time. They got to the National League playoff final last scene as well, just losing out to Grimsby Town in the end. The club is really starting to thrive, and I'm hoping to make some more good memories. I've played a lot of games now, so I've got a lot more experience, and I'll be looking to add to that to the squad, and I'm going to be pushing to be playing, and I'm sure the other lads here are going to be doing the same. Manager Neil Ardley added Kells was an easy one for us because we were very interested in him last summer. We had already done our homework on him and knew about him. Unfortunately, we just missed out on him to a league club. I presume by that it means a football league club. The opportunity came up to have another crack at signing him, and we took that opportunity with both hands. He's a commanding and dominant centre half, which I definitely would agree with. A threat in both boxes and a great talk. He definitely does communicate quite a lot as a central defender. He gives us that knowledge and know how going into the upcoming season. Now, if you have a look at his statistics in the season just gone by, we'll have a look specifically at his League Two stats. Last season in League Two, he played 
started nine times for us in the 21 at 22 campaign. He started six games, averaging 66 minutes per 90, zero team of the week inclusions. His only attacking stat that he did anything with was he averaged 0.3 shots per game. In terms of his passing stats, he averaged 38.4 touches per game, one at big chances created, 0.1 key passes per game. He averaged 22.7 passes as well per 90, with a 75% of them at being successful. He had an 83% passing accuracy in his own half, a 60% passing accuracy in the opposition half, 36% accurate long balls, and 34% of his chip passes were accurate as well. In terms of his defensive stats, he got zero clean sheets while as a Bradford City player. Now, when he was actually on the pitch, I don't think we conceded in a few of them games, like, say, Leighton Orient away, I think he made his first competitive debut for us, where we were already losing 2 and early came on for, like, the last five minutes, and we didn't concede, but in terms of actually starting, no, we haven't kept a clean sheet when he has played. He averaged 0.8 interceptions per game, 0.7 tackles per game, 0.1 possession wins per game. He was dribbled past on 0.2 times per game, so that's like once in every five matches. He averaged 4.3 clearances as well per game, zero errors leading to a shot, and obviously that means zero errors leading to a goal. In terms of his duels won, he averaged 4.6 duels per 90, winning 63% of them. Averaged one ground duel per 90, winning 64% of them, and he also averaged 3.6 aerial duels per 90, winning 63% of them. He lost possession on average 8.1 occasions per game, he committed 0.3 fouls per game, and he was fouled on 0.3 appearances. He averaged a 6.69 in League 2. Like I said, whenever he did play, I thought he did alright for us. He was nothing special, nothing really stand out, but when he did play, I thought he did an alright job. I think he will do quite decent for Sullivan Moors going into next season. Obviously, we'll have to wait and see what happens with him. He might get recalled in January, but I don't think he's going to get in over Platt Critchlow, Odisuna, probably doesn't get in over Songo either, so it makes sense for all parties for him to go out on loan, I don't think we'll see him play for Bradford City again, I doubt he'll, I really do doubt he'll get a new contract next season, especially if he get promoted into League One, which obviously you know, we've still got a 50 odd game season or whatever it's going to be in all competitions still to go before we can even consider something like that, we can hope though that we do get promoted but I don't think Fee Kelleher will make another Bradford City appearance, which I think is a, a not really a shame because I don't think he's taking up all too much in terms of the wage bill whatsoever, I just feel like this move is best for all parties. It allows us to maybe potentially recall him in January and then sell him and potentially get a fee for him. I think if that does happen, we'll have done a very good piece of business. If not, he'll probably leave the club on a free transfer in the summer and this is his opportunity now to put himself in the shop window. He might be able to get a football league club or he might want to stay with Sully Hill Moors. All depends on, again, if Sully Hill Moors get promoted at the end of the season. If there's any Sully Hill Moors fans watching this, overall I would say he's obviously very good in the air. He's decent on the ball. He's not the slow I think for that level, you've got yourself a good at central defender. He's a leader as well. I just think we've improved on him. We've got better than him. He was never really going to get an opportunity. So like I said, it makes sense for all parties for him to now be moved on. Good luck to him though. I do wish Fee Keller all the best. It just simply didn't really work out for him. He's brought in as a backup. Played every now and again when he did play. I think overall he did alright. Most of the games he averaged at least a 6.6 .6, apart from that game away at Carlisle. But when he played in that game against Scunthorpe and Barrow away from home and at home respectively, I thought he did alright. Right. I don't really think he's put much of a foot wrong to be honest with you but that is where I'm going to leave it for today's video if you have enjoyed a like as always will be massively appreciated if you could try and hit 60 likes as I said at the start of today's video that would be absolutely class subscribe if you are new as well we are now on the road to 6,000 subscribers so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on get your thoughts in as well down in the comment section down below what are your thoughts on Fika Kelher joining Sully Hill Moors on a season long loan have a great rest of your day thank you very much for watching and I shall see you all very soon for another video peace